Hello everyone. I hope and I believe all of you are doing well. Uh, before we start with the session, a quick note whether the audio visual is all good. All right. So uh, this is a series that we are starting for FMG students, which is specifically targeting the top 100 topics for FMG. And this is going to be the list of the sessions, the list of the topics that are definitely going to appear in your exam. Now, even though this is for FMG, but these sessions are going to be of utmost importance even for NEET, PG, INICT or any exam as well. Like these are the common exam, uh, common topics which are very important for all the exams. In the today's uh, 5 p.m. free life class on the Unacademy app, we discussed the timetable. I have given you the timetable how to prepare for FMG. So I have given you approximately 60 days timetable, right? And then I have told you how to plan your day. If you missed that session, you can watch the recorded session also. I have shown you the list of the top 100 topics that are must read for your exam. And based on that, we will be having these sessions as well. Okay. All right. So what is NF basically? So rather than keeping the long title that is FMG top 100 topics. So it is uh, with Dr. Nikita that is Nikita's FMG top 100 topics. So that is how we are going to call the series as that is NF 100 Nikita's FMG top 100. Is that clear? Okay. And this is the episode one guys. And we are planning that in this month itself, we will have six episodes of your NF 100. Second episode is tomorrow at 5 p.m on the unacademy app okay it is going to be there tomorrow that is 23rd and the topic for tomorrow again very very important the topic for tomorrow is brachial plexus and the nerve injury test okay your very very important one short short question in your exam any exam it's going to be there so tomorrow we are going to discuss the mnemonics to remember brachial plexus, the nerve injury test, right? All your ulnar nerve, median nerve, ke sab test jo hai, wo sab dekhenge. Extremely important for everyone to attend. I'll uh, drop in the link of the session in the comments and also on the telegram group. So you can enroll on that tomorrow of tomorrow 5 p.m. All right. And then we will have episode 3, 4 and 5 on uh, youtube itself which is going to be on sunday 26 27 and 28 that's going to be on youtube at 10 30 pm that's going to be your episode 3 4 5 and then on 29th we will have the episode 6 okay um the top 100 topics list will be available soon on the telegram group i have still made 80 topics uh 20 more to go i think the list will increase more than that as well but all our sessions will be based on that list because these are like even if you read these many topics you can get good marks in your exam okay that is what the whole series is about in the today's session a quick short session we are going to target extremely important points in toxicology a rapid revision is what we are targeting at all right so people who are new here uh, i'm dr nikita and i have done my md and dnb in radiology from mumbai and uh, having secured AIMS rank 63 and Maharashtra rank 10, uh, I prefer doing MD radiology at TNMC Mumbai rather than doing MS ophthalmology at AIMS. And I, I like to call myself as medical mnemonist because that is what I love to do. I'm passionate about simplifying topics, simplifying the content which is available everywhere, but delivering it in a simplified manner and uh, plus subscription i hope all of you are aware we are coming up with the printed notes for plus subscription students with 12 months above subscription and iconic is both an academy and prep ladder together the good news is that the prices of iconic have gone down significantly for a limited period of time so make sure that you make the best of it that iconic subscription 12 months which was previously 45k is now at 38k so that's very very cost effective if you are planning for subscription 12 months or more than that, prefer Iconic over Plus because that's going to be more cost effective. All right. 
Special class features, I'm sure all of you are aware. We have the polls, we have raise the hand feature and this is the question bank that we have updated. As I mentioned in the today's class, whatever topics you are reading, side by side practice the MCQs from the question bank so that you have MCQ practice as well. And these are our toppers from the past FMG exam. We've got quite good results in the FMG June 2021 and the same we are expecting in December 2021 as well. These are the new batches that have started today, 22nd. I I C T K L A. we have started for final year MBBS students. The clinical examination, the case practical skills is what we have started a batch on. And also for 2022 and 2023 students, subject wise and integrated system wise batches what we have started. Right. And if you are taking subscription now, you also get offers of 24 Kesat 4 months and 12 Kesat 2. All right. Now, let's start with the first one. I would like to start with this question. Tell me, um, total, how many episodes, Arun? There are going to be multiple episodes. 100 ka target hai. Let's see, where do we reach till your FMG exam? We are going to have multiple uh, episodes on that. Okay, Swarna. So, why MD and DNV both? That's a good question. I think many of us are unaware. Only when we enter MD, we get to know that. When you have done your MD in any branch, after that, you just have to give DNB exam. You don't have to undergo any course. If you clear the, you give the DNB exam and if you clear the DNB exam, theory and practicals, then you get DNB degree as well. So you don't have to do an extra course. It's just an extra exam that you have to give. So you get one extra degree by giving that exam. All right. So please join back everyone. The YouTube issue still persists. Am I audible and visible now? Okay. So tell me what poisoning is this? In which condition, in which drug abuse do you see this? What is shown in the picture? So your exam these days have a lot of image based questions. Radiology images have become very, very important as is the other images. So what do you think? Which drug abuse is this? Uh, sulfuric acid, do you see the black tongue? The black tongue is very, very important here. Which drug abuse? We are talking about a drug abuse. Is it cannabis? Is it cocaine? Is it your LSD? Is it fencyclidine? What is it? Ha, it's not khatarnak picture as akta bilkul exam mein. So remember, this is seen with your very good Sesha. That is your cocaine. Okay, this is seen with cocaine. How do we remember this is very, very simple to remember. Remember cocaine ke saath Coca-Cola. So black color Coke and that is what it causes. Black color tongue, black color teeth. It is seen with cocaine poisoning. A question on cocaine poisoning clinical features was asked in NEET PG 2021 as well. What is not seen? Bradycardia, hyperthermia, wo sab options se. So that is important. Now let us quickly see in toxicology the drugs of abuse. Cocaine ke saath kya kya features dikhte hain. So the trick to remember one we said coca cola black color. So there is black pigmentation of teeth and tongue. Cocaine remember very important it has your sympathomimetic symptoms. Okay so it causes your tachycardia. It can cause vasoconstriction. So you had an option in NEET PG 2021. It can cause MI as well. All those are uh, all those are important features. And remember, magnet symptoms. Aise lagega ki on the skin there are some bugs moving. So that is remember cocaine. Say you can remember this as cockroach. So cockroach ke jaise something is moving on the skin. That is magnet symptom. Okay, so it looks like magnified. It looks like the cockroaches are moving. Remember that is your cocaine has magnet symptom. Very, very, very important question. Magnet symptom is seen with absolutely tactile hallucination, Jessa. Next one. Cannabis ke saath you see a motivational syndrome and run amok. 
so remember that a motivational syndrome and run a mock they go hand in hand so a m o a m o a motivational syndrome and run a mock they go together now to remember this remember cannabis cannabis says cannabis ki bas karo you know i am a motivated i am not motivated to do anything more bas karo you know the condition that majority of the students are going through after neat pg 2021 that is you know enough of it bas karo or nahi karna so remember kana bas bas is a motivational that is run amok a person going wild running behind to kill the people that is run amok then we have lsd what are the classical features with lsd so you can remember lsd with love sex dhoka so imagine that someone has gone to a trip okay a bangkok trip and someone had love sex dhoka when a person comes back the person is going to have its bad trip basically bad trip experience and it causes flashback okay so the flashbacks of the bad experience always come in mind so remember lsd is bad trips and flashback next is amphetamine so paranoid hallucinatory syndrome remember p and h so amphetamine p h paranoid hallucinatory syndrome and we know that paranoid is your schizophrenia right paranoid is schizophrenia so schizophrenia like symptoms paranoid hallucinatory syndrome is your amphetamine next alcohol ke sath remember the 3 m's okay the 3 m that is mac evan sign again a five star question very very important mac evan sign when you pinch on the neck the uh, pupil dilates mac evan sign morbid jealousy othello syndrome and you have melon b effect when the alcohol levels are increasing initially in the blood it has more effect baad mein tolerance jaisa ho jata hai that is melon b effect so remember the 3 m's with alcohol mckevan sign morbid jealousy and melon b effect all these m m m are seen with alcohol all right next one this is very very important again a five star question frequently asked opioid withdrawal remember this is not opioid intoxication this is when a patient having opioid taking opioid abuse hai withdrawal ke baad ye features aayenge we know that when there is opioid intoxication that is morphine morphine causes constipation the three c's of morphine it causes constipation it causes constriction of pupil and it can cause coma so when there is withdrawal opposite features of intoxication would be seen constipation ke badle mein there would be diarrhea midriasis will be seen dilatation would be seen okay so remember withdrawal causes the d's intoxication causes the c's so these are diarrhea and dilatation of pupil that is seen with withdrawal very very important features lacrimation rhinorrhea yawning pilo erection ye sab features dikhenge so you can remember opioid withdrawal like a condition which a student faces in the examination hall waisa yaad rakhna examination hall mein a student facing this condition imagine that a student could not take opioid because of the exam so opioid withdrawal ho gaya difficult paper aaya pet mein it's all your gurgur starting so diarrhea you look at the difficult questions the eyes become big that is midriasis and you you feel like crying lacrimation water comes from the nose also rhinorrhea you feel sleepy because you are not able to answer yawning and pilo erection right because the paper is very difficult so remember that this is the features of opioid withdrawal okay these are the features of opioid withdrawal uh selva is saying the quality i think you need to go and uh, check in the let me see you can change the settings okay you your video might be playing at 144 pixels please change it in the okay please change it go to the settings or uh, advanced wale mein quality mein you can change it do it 480 pixels then it will be better okay all right now let's go to fencyclidine what are the features seen with fencyclidine fencyclidine ke liye yaad rakhne ke liye yaad rakhna ph fencyclidine you can write it as fencyclidine f 
फॉर फेरी ओके एफ फॉर फेरी फेरी मतलब एंजल सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एंजल डस्ट and remember that when you uh, when you tell the stories of angel fairy tales to the kids while sleeping the kids go into an entire different world that is dissociated they go into a trance state dissociative anesthesia so remember fencyclidine is fairy that is angel and dissociative anesthesia next one so this is what we are going to summarize whatever we learned substance of abuse the specific effects cocaine cockroach magnan symptoms that is cocaine bugs or tactile hallucination mini packers syndrome you know someone packing the cocaine and then fencyclidine fairy is angel dust dissociative anesthesia lsd bad trips flashbacks amphetamine paranoid hallucinatory that is like schizophrenia alcohol 3m mckevan morbid and you have melon b effect and cannabis is a motivational and run a mock that is your cannabis all right next one thank you so much arjun for those uh, kind compliments okay let's go to the next one tell me what do you think is the answer to this which of these is used as sues for killing cattle used as sues for killing cattle i uh, i see mixed answers but majority of you are right the correct answer here is abrus precatorius okay let me tell you the tricks because in my sessions you are going to learn mnemonics and concepts two things that will help you to crack any exam sui is sui matlab hindi mein sui matlab hota hai needle so this is used for cattle abortion needle prick karte hain right we get needle prick so remember prick is precatorius okay prick is precatorius so this is abrus precatorius prick yani needle matlab it is used as sui okay so anyone who answered a or c remember it is abrus precatorius prick karna needle next one which of the following can cause artificial bruise and used by washerman to mark the clothes asif the session would be there later on also so you can revise it later as well next question which of these can cause artificial bruise and used by washerman to mark the clothes absolutely right the question which was asked image based question which was asked in neat pg 2021 right this year neat had a question on identifying i'll show you the image as well that is semi carpus so remember artificial bruise karega ya washerman use it to mark the clothes that means basically it is also called as marking nut it is called as marking nut because it causes a mark on the skin so remember that semi carpus when you write semi carpus it has your mark in its spelling okay so look at this m a r c it has mark in its spelling so your marking nut semi carpus causes artificial bruise right absolutely i'll show you the image later on the active ingredient is uh, bilavanol okay next coming to uh, snakes tell me what is venom of cobra venom of cobra is it neurotoxic vascular toxic myotoxic what is it venom of cobra is absolutely right it is neurotoxic so remember in snakes cobra viper and which is the next one the snee sea snake okay cobra remember c for c it affects the cns that means it is neurotoxic viper is a uh, viper is v for v that means it is vasculotoxic okay viper is vasculotoxic c snake c mein jab aap jaate ho to do scuba diving to do swimming after that we get a lot of muscle aches so c snake is myotoxic okay myotoxic is c snake so remember vasculo v for v is viper 
myotoxic is sea snake okay myotoxic is sea snake and cobra and crate okay remember cobra and crate ka ka affects the cns cobra and crate are neurotoxic next one i just told you anticoagulant effect is seen with venom of which of the following anticoagulant effect is seen with venom of so anticoagulant means affecting the blood blood matlab that means it is your vascular toxic so this is how questions can be twisted v for v it is viper okay it is viper vascular toxic is viper now coming to the points on how to identify the snakes again very very important so remember that the snake which has a hood like you can see the hood here the snake which has a hood is cobra now in cobra we have king cobra and we have common cobra now it is the common cobra it is common man who needs to wear the spectacle king is like raja he does not need to wear spectacle so where you see the spectacle mark that is common cobra okay where you see the spectacle mark like this with the hood that is common cobra there is no spectacle mark here that is king cobra common cobra is naja naja okay this one tell me which snake is this is it viper or is it crate is it viper or is it crate yes so med high yield you remember the mnemonics absolutely now to remember viper and crate remember that crate is rhyming with straight so crate has straight bands like you see the straight bands here there are the straight bands so this snake is crate viper v ka ulta kar do ek hai seedha v ek hai ulta v so you get diamond shaped marks so these diamond shaped marks are seen with viper so this is viper crate is crate and this is cobra common cobra and king cobra okay so this is very very important again a question is expected in your exam next one identify these seas whether this is abrus precatorius resinus communis semicarpus or digitalis very good this is this is not your resinus guys majority are right this is abrus precatorius abhi kya padha tha abrus precatorius ke liye prick matlab needle wala it is used as suis for cattle and remember abrus is like crabrus okay it is like the crab's eye it is also called as crab's eye so you see this eye like feature here eye like feature here that looks like the eye that is your abrus precatorius to humne isko yaad rakha hai with the mnemonic akhiyo se goli nahi mare remember akhiyo se sui mare so sui akhiyo eye jaise dikhne wala that is your abrus precatorius okay what is this one identify this plant is it abrus resinus semicarpus or digitalis Absolutely right, Moini. Abrin is the active ingredient, also called as rati or gunchi. Rosary bead is what is it called as? Absolutely, this is digitalis purpurea. The trick to remember purpurea. जैसे हम medicine में पढ़ते हैं, पाथो में purpura होता है, dots होते हैं, वो जो पेटे के purpura सब होते हैं. So उसमें जो है, ये जो आपको purple color में, purple color के flowers में ऐसे dots dots you are seeing, that is like purpura. so this is digitalis purpura similar looking plant is aconite but usme ye purpura nahi hota hai uske horse reddish jaise roots hote hain so remember purple color flowers with those dots this is digitalis purpura what is the alternative name for digitalis is it called monk's hood is it called your hemlock poison what is digitalis also called as remember digits digitalis is digits and what do we wear in the digits is a glove so digitalis is also called as fox glove very good the digitalis is also called as fox glove okay 
Next one. Now, this is the question which was asked in your NEET PG 2021 exam. So, very, very important. A lot of questions overlap between FMG and NEET PG. Okay. So, you should be reading that. Now, what is this one? What the trick to remember this is, ye jo aapko dikh raha hai, this looks like the nib of the pen. This is ink pen use kar de the in the school days. This looks like the ink pen ka nib which is used to mark something, to make a mark on something. So this is basically to make a mark. So this is your marking nut, artificial bruise, washerman wala. Marking nut is semi-carpus. The question was active ingredient is bilavanol, right? The active ingredient is bilavanol. We had already discussed this in our toxicology sessions, guys. Those who have the plus subscription, Please make sure that you watch the toxicology entire course I've taken. It's 9 hours ka course. Entire toxicology with these tricks has been covered. I'm telling you only few tricks here. Many other have been covered in the plus course. So please watch that course. Okay. Next one. Identify this. What is this? Abhi baki sab to ho gai. Ye to abris nahi hai. Semicarpus nahi hai. Digitalis nahi hai. To ye hai resinous communis. How do we remember resinous communis is? Resinous is red color. R for R. You see this red colored flask. And communis ye cactus ke jaise hota hai. C for cactus. You see this pointed, pointed, this red color like a cactus. That is your resinous communis. Cactus is castor, right? So you get castor oil from it. Absolutely right. So this is what you see here. The castor oil and uske jo seeds hai, thik hai, uske jo seeds hai, ye jo cockroach ke jaise seeds dikh rahe hai, ye hai resinous communis. So for resinous communis, the trick to remember is, resinous is red color ka flower, cactus ke jaisa, C for cactus, C for castor oil, and C for cockroach like seeds. Okay, cockroach ke jaise jo seeds dikhte hai, that is resinous communis. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. A favorite with the examiners. Again, NEET PG 2021 had a question on this. The police brought a person from railway platform. He was talking irrelevant. Had dry mouth with hot dry skin. Dilated pupils. Staggering gait. Slurred speech. What is the most probable diagnosis? Alcohol, Datura, OPC or Aconite. Very good. This is Datura poisoning. Okay. So, Datura poisoning. Always remember your jo hum hot as a hair. So, hot dry skin. You get your dilated pupils. Very, very important. Dry mouth. It's basically your anticholinergic features okay that is your anticholinergic features irrelevant altered behavior high temperature dilated pupils remember dhatura d for d causes dilated pupils causes dry mouth anticholinergic what is the antidote for this that was the question asked in need pg 2021 what is the antidote this is anticholinergic, so you want to increase the acetylcholine. Give physostigmin. The antidote is physostigmin. Why? Because it crosses the blood brain barrier. It reaches the CNS also. Okay, that was the question asked in NEET PG. So, Datura poisoning is characterized by we already saw pinpoint pupil nahi hota hai. Datura D4D is dilated, dry mouth. Dilated salivary gland, nahi. it is dilated pupil, not decreased temperature, increased temperature. It is hot as a hair. Okay. Okay. Next one, uh, treatment of Datura poisoning. Exactly the question with clinical scenario asked in NEET PG 2021. That is physostigmin. Remember, because it crosses the blood brain barrier, it reaches the CNS. Okay. Next one. A middle-aged man presented with paresthesia of hands and feet. Okay, what are the points given? There is paresthesia. Examination mein there is mese lines. There is raindrop pigmentation. What is the most likely diagnosis? What poisoning is this? Absolutely right. This is your arsenic poisoning. Okay, this is your arsenic poisoning. 
Remember, it causes paresthesia, measles, lines, and the raindrop pigmentation. Let me tell you the story of arsenic poisoning. Okay, the story mnemonic of arsenic poisoning. So remember that this is very very easy to remember. There is a hippie girl by the name of Marsh Rinch Gutsy. Okay, so this hippie girl ka naam hai Marsh Rinch Gutsy. She always likes to go out irrespective bahar dhoop hai, bahar thandi hai, ki bahar barish hai. She wants to go out to the clubs and the pubs, right? And then she gets ready for going out. There is a lot of rain outside but still she wants to go out. So she wears the black heels, okay? Black high heels. So that causes basically your black foot disease. So black foot arsenic. She puts mehendi. Mehendi on the hand is like hyperkeratosis. Mehendi is hyperkeratosis. She puts the nail paint. Nail paint is the maize lines. Okay, that's the maize lines. Now, when she is going out in the rain, the rain fall is the rain is falling on her, and that is why she gets raindrop pigmentation. Once she reaches the restaurant, the club or the pub, she likes. What does she order? She orders garlic noodles. garlic noodles and that is what is your odor the garlic odor main course is done in the desert she orders red velvet cake okay that is what you see here i'm sure many of you have a uh, mouth watering like i am having now so noodles and the red velvet cake what is red velvet the stomach mucosa so very very important question red velvet like stomach mucosa is seen with arsenic poisoning then she drinks water the water unfortunately is contaminated and she gets cholera so remember which poisoning is like cholera it is your arsenic poisoning there are many other points these are the most most important points to be remembered about arsenic poisoning right so that is what we saw in the question jo humne dekha measles lines the nail paint raindrop pigmentation paresthesia it causes neuropathy that is arsenic Next question: What is Marsh Rinch Gutsy? These are the tests used for arsenic poisoning. All these are the previous year questions that have been asked. So Rinch test is for arsenic poisoning. Raindrop pigmentation, arsenic poisoning. Black foot disease, arsenic poisoning. The black heels, all this is arsenic. This is a clinical picture, very very much expected in your exam. This has been asked in one of the previous exams. This is the hyperkeratosis of the palms and soles. This is like mehendi. That is arsenic poisoning. That is hyperkeratosis. Okay, that is hyperkeratosis. That was about arsenic poisoning. ये क्या है? ये भी image आपके exam में आ सकता है image based question. This is all the raindrop pigmentation. Again, this has been asked previously. So very important. Raindrop pigmentation is seen with arsenic poisoning okay so hyperkeratosis raindrop pigmentation is important image okay in your exam okay coming to the last one and this is where we will wrap up our session what poisoning do you think is this put all the three images together what do you think is this one what poisoning is this absolutely right this is your lead poisoning very very important each of these images is important lead poisoning ke remember pb lead matlab plumbism pb has three b's what are the pb ke sath three b's one this is your bands the metaphyseal dense bands so you get dense bands in the metaphyses what is this blue blue color basophilic blue that is basophilic stippling okay basophilic stippling is seen what is this the blue line on the gums that is the bertonian line right that is the bertonian line so remember important three features b ke sath bands dense metaphyseal bands basophilic stippling and the blue lines or the bertonian line lead poisoning ke sath also remember we lead our children by teaching them a b c d e f g that is lead poisoning lead the child by teaching a b c d e f g a is it causes anemia okay it causes anemia 
इट कैन कॉज पेलर राइट यू गेट पेरी ओरल पेलर बी इज जो हमने थ्री बीज देखे सी इज कॉलिक एबडोमिनल कॉलिक क्लासिकल फीचर्स लेड पॉइजनिंग ओल्ड हाउस में वॉल पेंट ईटिंग के बाद दैट इज योर लेड पॉइजनिंग you have d it causes drops like you can get foot drop and all it affects the nerves e is it can cause encephalopathy especially in children f is your facial paler very very important and g is gout it causes saturnine gout important question saturnine gout is seen with lead poisoning so remember a b c d e f g these are the features of uh, lead poisoning all right i think yes that was about the today's session of toxicology quick revision of all the important points expect at least one question in your exam i'll see you again tomorrow with the episode 2 of nf 100 that is your top 100 topics for fmg and the topic for tomorrow it is 5 pm on the app if asked for a code to join the class you can use the code dr nikita life the topic is again must know brachial plexus and the nerve injury test okay from orthopedics anatomy combined of both brachial plexus and nerve injury test tomorrow 5 pm is what we are going to uh, revise okay so thank you so much everyone i hope you've enjoyed this session do let me know in the comments i'll be sharing and uh, the pdf of the top 100 topics that are must read for your exam very very soon in a day or two and i'll see you very very often with this series of uh, f100 nf100 and new series also we will be starting for inict and neat pg 2022 students as well all right thank you and goodbye take care keep studying keep revising and keep winning thank you